So when I first came to Hawaii, well, I came in with the expectations that I'd seen in photographs. And so I was kind of expecting the photographs to be a little overzealous. But when I came here, it was exactly as I had pictured. Everybody's just so friendly. Everybody's just so open. And it really doesn't matter like where you're from or like what color you are. You can just feel the energy here. It's really different here. We can all get together and share food and share culture, share knowledge, and just come together as one. The National Science Foundation funds this program. There are dozens of them across the country. The main purpose of it is, is to increase the participation in the STEM workforce, particularly for underrepresented groups. So it's our job to try to find a, a broad swath of students that are representative of a good mix and, and give them an opportunity to come here and get a little sampling of what graduate school is about. We give them nine weeks of uh, working with individual faculty mentors studying a particular aspect of the Earth or Ocean Sciences, and they get to conduct a, a small a research project uh, during that time. One of the things in my education that I don't quite have right now is long-term research and sort of figuring that out in preparation for grad school. So I think one of the main reasons I wanted to come here was to sort of figure out like whether I like doing research, what kind of research I like doing. And so this program is a great opportunity to like kind of get my foot in the door with doing research and making connections far away from home in places that could really give me an opportunity to keep doing what I want to do. So, so typically the, the, this program here is very exciting to us because we, we're in Hawaii, so there's all these natural laboratories that we can visit. So the students will have a chance to go to the Big Island and see actual volcanism and uh, see the many beautiful mountains we have on the Big Island and when they were formed and look at some of the geology of them. We also have the luxury of taking them out on an, a real oceanographic expedition. So for three days the students will be sampling data and living on a ship basically for three days. We also have field trips locally on the island to visit institutions like the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. We're going to go to the Marine uh, Biology Institute uh, on Coconut Island. We get to see some of the beautiful flora and fauna up in the mountains by hiking. The meat of the experience is to work one-on-one -on -one with faculty mentors on individual research projects. And over the course of nine weeks, they will start from scratch, basically, do literature review meet with the mentors almost daily and discuss what the steps are to complete the project uh, over the nine week period. I think my biggest tip for a student looking to get into really any REU would be to find something that you're passionate about. Uh, I think that from the mentor perspective when they're looking for students that's something that really stands out and they want someone who's very excited about what they're doing. It's okay to not know everything. I learned a lot more about myself and I learned a lot more about my abilities being placed in something that I had minimal experience in, almost no experience in. I think the most valuable thing this program has taught me is to network and to seek, to actively seek out grad students to talk to and to engage with. And I know that this program is gonna stick with me and the rest of the students here for the rest of our lives. And this is gonna be such just a powerful experience for us, both academically, personally, emotionally, and just so many ways. I hope as many people as possible can have an experience like this. The NSF funds many, many of these in all uh, areas of science and uh, students just need to apply. That's all it takes.